Hi, uh, Rhett Gatke, wine director for Bounty Hunter Rare Wines here in Napa Valley. And um, one of our more exciting new finds in the last couple of years is um, the Blue Line Project from Hourglass. Uh, Jeff Smith, the proprietor, his family's been in the valley for um, many years. And uh, his Hourglass uh, estate property is so named for the, the pinch of the valley, as it were, the hourglass shape. And he wanted to do something different from the estate. He wanted to focus on Merlot, Cabernet Franc. And, um, ended up finding a, a vineyard the old-fashioned way. Um, driving up the Silverado Trail just south of Calistoga, he saw the for sale sign, you know, about that big in front of the, uh, the property. Um, a couple months later, he had himself a new vineyard, and uh, it just so happened to be right next door to Switchback Ridge. And his uh, winemaker and friend, Bob Foley, uh, was the winemaker there as well. So the beginning of a, of a perfect marriage. and. Um, Jeff, uh, Jeff's a pretty loose guy. We saw him at the auction last weekend, uh, and he was, uh, his band was about to go on, and he was more concerned um, about talking to the sound guy than uh, anybody else at the auction. So um, he keeps it light and irreverent, but he, his wines are unbelievable. And if you have the chance to visit this property, it's been in, um, you know, Dwell Magazine, um, Architectural Digest. It's uh, a truly incredible uh, example of. Um, space and form built into a hillside. Um, the wine's not too bad either. Um, again, Bob Foley is the winemaker. He's had incredible success at places like Pride. Um, uh, the scores his, his wines have received speak for themselves. Uh, and uh, Those guys play well together both in the band and uh, in the vineyard. And uh, This wine's only going to get better with age. This is the, I believe, the third release for um, the Blue Line Estate. Um, what we're seeing coming out, having done barrel tastings, um, Jeff will never admit it, but uh, this may end up surpassing the quality of his uh, estate vineyard in St. Helena. Really great juice, 07 Cabernet, it's, uh, it's worth a look.